Hello everyone, welcome back to another That Sack video. Today I'll be showing you everything you need to know about servos in the cool zone. To start off with, where do you find servos? Well, servos are located in your tool gun under the constraints. Now that you've got servos selected, you're going to notice all of these settings for them. Now, no reason to get overwhelmed. I'll explain each and every setting here in just a second. To start with, what does toggled mean? When toggled is enabled, all you have to do is tap a button and it keeps going. When false, you have to hold the key for the servo to keep moving. Next up, LOS check stands for line of sight. It changes whether or not the servo can see you through walls. As you can see, the servo can see me up until I'm behind the wall, at which point it loses sight of me and turns back to its default position. Something I found is that you have to manually change it with the stat editor, or else it'll just stay on LOS check. This next one is fairly simple. Start on. It essentially just changes whether or not it's enabled when spawned. Next up is motor mode. You can switch between rotation, looker, and mouse. I'll explain the difference between each in a moment. But next is rotation speed. It simply changes how fast the servo moves. Look range changes how far the sensor can see a humanoid from, while look angle changes the field of view of the servo. Responsiveness. This changes how fast it takes to reach the end destination. Lower values make the servo smooth and less rigid, leading to the servo falling behind, while a higher value makes the servo more rigid and jagged. And then the rest of the options are simply keybinds to move the servo right, left, up, and or down when on the rotation motor. And the toggle keybind changes whether or not the servo is enabled. To start off with, rotation is basically the manual mode, and you can control it using the keys that you binded. Next up is the looker mode. The servo will look at any humanoid in range of it. And it appears that the servo will check the closest humanoid every five or so seconds, in which it will swap to look at that humanoid. And finally, the simplest of them all, mouse mode. Essentially, the servo will just look wherever the mouse is pointing. And you might be asking, what can I use servos for? Well, I have a few examples of what you can do with them. The main thing you're going to do with servos is probably weld something to them. In this example, I've welded a turret to the servo itself, making a manually controlled turret. Or you could attach spotlights, making lights that follow you. Or hell, combine it all and make a home security system. Another thing you can do is make something with wheels like this. Or get really weird with it and attach a house to a giant servo to make it spin. Something really important to note though, is that if you have too much weight on your servo, it will just topple over and not hold up the weight. So I recommend enabling massless on most of your items that are welded. And on top of that, if you're attaching something really big to the servo, sometimes scaling up your servo will give it better balance. But hey, congratulations! That's the end of the tutorial. Now get out there and start getting creative with servos. If you like this style of content and you want me to do more cool zone tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment what you would like to see. That's Zach out.